This photograph was acquired by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter earlier this year. We're looking down at a site in Calcoporus Rupes. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I've covered this site a couple of years ago in an older photograph. Let's have a look at all the new anomalies that are now visible since the dunes in this site seem to have moved on. As always, I'll include the link to the original material in the description below. So this high-rise photograph is called Dune Field Monitoring. It was acquired on the 7th of July 2022 at a resolution of 25.2 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file just under 620 megabytes in size. There's a look at the low res black and white and the anomalies I'll be showing you some of these white specks that are littered across this region. Calcoporus rupes is located in this area of Nuarkas Terra and the site we're looking at is right there folks at approximately 52 degrees 15 minutes south 23 degrees 1 minute east we'll have a look at some of the anomalies discovered close by towards the end of the video let's start off with these strange rectangular items with smaller objects or holes in their centers we're looking at the one located right there and now it's at about 8 by 6 meters in size and it looks as if it's on top of another block or slab. Check out the right angles to it and the perfect hole right there in its center. Could these be uncovered bunkers? The sand has moved on. We can now see the structure that was normally underground now visible on the surface with holes and possibly hatches on their tops. Then we're looking at another one right there folks about the same size. Check this out also we can see right angles to it. This one's got a slight wedge shape to it check that out but also a hole right there in the center. Could this be a smaller object that covers that hole. Next up we're looking at that strange disc shaped anomaly there that seems to be on its side embedded in a rock. I'd say this item, the bright disc, is about three or four meters across. But it's right there in the center of this larger piece. Also it looks as if it's slightly hollowed out as well. Straight edge and it's parallel with the edge of this what looks like side view of a disc. So I'm not sure what's going on there guys but this is really bright. It looks almost as if it's metallic. Then we're looking at the smaller object over there. I'd say that's about three to four meters across and also right there in its center on the top we've got what looks like a small triangular object. Next a disc with a smaller object in its center that disc is about eight meters across and check this out. Is this a dome on top of a larger disc could that be an opening in the larger object and we're looking at alignment of smaller objects on larger pieces check this out three in a row there three in a row yeah and this is another one of these strange disc shapes that there's about 10 meters across Check out the alignment going on here, folks. We've got symmetry and geometry taking place here. Similar size, 
and almost equal spacing between those. Also looks as if this smaller object might be part of this pattern, possibly forming a triangular pattern on that. Then we're looking at three over here. On top of this item, this larger piece is about three meters long. So check that out again, folks. This looks as if it's standing up out of the larger part. Put a right angle there and then an arc shape on the one side. Are these depictions of something, folks? I still struggle to figure out what these alignments might mean. I've covered so many triangular patterns and square patterns, T-shaped patterns on Mars in previous videos. This is getting unreal. Then we're looking at a small megalithic block on that item. I'd say the block is about three to four meters long. And then there's another narrower object perpendicular to it on this side. Also looks highly artificial, very smooth, flat surface, very bright as well. And we're looking at this strange item. This is about, I'd say, let's see, 5, 10, 15 to 16 meters long. And it seems to be slightly elevated on the side here. Could this be a piece of metal, like sheet metal that's bent up? And then this on the top. Could that be an opening running across the top? With that as a type of a covering. Up next, more of these megalithic blocks. This one's about six meters long. And it's lying on top of a larger block perpendicular to the sides. Check that out, folks. Smaller blocks of here in this one. We're looking at those there first. Check this out, guys. This is about three meters long straight edges, right angles to it, and there's a smaller block parallel with it to the right. Also lying on top of a rectangular slab potentially there. And we're looking at the narrow block on that item. This is about four meters long. Check that out again. Got straight edges and right angles to it. Check out the slot in this item. We'll also look at the arrangement of those smaller items there to the right. I'd say that slot there is about three to four meters long. So if it's an opening, you can definitely walk in there. So it's very strange and it's parallel with this side. It's got a uniform width to it as well. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six smaller objects arranged in what looks like a geometric pattern of here to the right. Check out this multiple layers to whatever this might be. That there's about 10 meters across. Check this out, guys. We've got strat edges to it, like bevels. This part sticking out there looks like a circular opening potentially over here with a small spherical object lying here next to it. Could that be the plug that goes in there? I don't know if guys, but this is weird, man. Check this out. That there seems to be extended out the side this coming over the top as I say multiple levels to this could that be some type of machine or technology maybe even an old structure and we're looking at this item 
It looks very similar to another object I found here years ago. We'll have a look at that towards the end of the video. So this is about six by six meters in size. We've got some symmetry and geometry going on here again. Three similar items. Looks almost like tiles next to one another in a row, but the two smaller parts here on each side. Then this strange piece is this possibly a structure as well. This is about 10 meters across and about 15 meters long. Check out the right angles to this piece running through the center and again yeah we've got right angles to this it's almost as if these two pieces fit together like a jigsaw puzzle and then this piece that looks almost like a pipe and I'd say it's about 14 meters long check this out Long narrow item, uniform width to it as well. Definitely elevated above the surface. Don't know what that could be, guys. Could that be a pipe or just a narrow block wedged into the surface and we can only see the thin narrow side? Right, let's go down to Nahakistera to this site which are featured in this video you can see NASA scanned or photographed this dune field several times in the past so we've got Calcaporus Rupe Savia to the bottom I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly okay briefly let's have a look at those anomalies once again I'm sure you'll agree with me there's some artificiality, possibly intelligent design behind these objects. And then this is where I discovered this item. It's about 20 meters to 15 meters long. And it reminds me of the Quimbaya jet that was discovered down in South America. Then we've got various other layered structures or items. As I say, that looks like the dunes have moved. That's why I found all these additional items. Also, multiple layers to these rectangular items over here. Check this out, looks like a piece of wreckage, some type of sheet metal, doesn't it? And then this, this can't be a natural boulder. Check this out, folks. Perfectly rounded corner there, this small rectangular piece sticking off the one side. And then this looks machined or carved as well. many other blocks and then the usual suspects the smaller objects on top of larger blocks there's another one of those discs with three smaller objects on the top in a row again another disc conical feature in its center Check out the multiple blocks over here. Bevel on that one. So there's that disc. The three objects in a row. And there again. So some similarities and matching items 
in this region of Mars. And with that said, we've reached the end of this presentation. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate your viewership and support. And to everyone that comments on my videos, much appreciated. Thanks everybody. Take care. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye for now.